Hello guys and welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today we're going to be doing a master bedroom makeover. I'm so excited to share this one with you guys. I'm doing a $70 budget and a little under $250 budget. I wanted to show to you guys that you can make over your space on a budget and it still turn out beautifully. So here is what it looked like before so you can kind of see some before shots. But if you're not following me over on Instagram, I'm going to put those links down below so you guys can check us out over there and then we'll be getting straight into today's video. Okay, now we're gonna begin the $100 or less makeover. I actually clocked in at $67, so I did really well. I picked up this first piece from Ross. Always start at Ross and then go to TJ Maxx and then Target. I found this bad boy at Ross for $19.99, which was a steal because then I walked into Target and saw the same piece hanging up on their wall. And you guys, listen to this. It was $59.99. So definitely start at Ross always. You're gonna get the best bang for your buck, especially if you're on a budget. However, I did pick up this long pillow. Ross is like completely sold out of pillows and I wanted a fresh one. And this one was really big and long and had tassels. I loved the detail and the um, like texture to it that would add to the space. And it was $29.99. Another thing I like to purchase from Ross are sheets. Um, typically I pay around like 20 to $30, but I found these really nice sheets for $16.99. So I grabbed them up. They're actually super soft. I thought they'd be a little scratchy, but I didn't care just because of the price, but I'm actually super happy with them. But my biggest tip is when you're decorating on a budget is to shop your home. So go in the other bedrooms, find what you can use. That's the best way you're gonna freshen up your space without spending a lot of money. You guys have been seeing me do this in every video lately. It's just the easiest way to do it, especially when you can't shop. So the first thing I'm gonna work on are just like rearranging my new pillows, bring them in from different spaces, put them on different ways. You'll see it takes me a little while sometimes to like figure out exactly what I want, but just adding some fresh pillows to your bedding if you don't have bedding in your budget will definitely just feel more new and fresh to you. I also have pillows over on my ottoman, so I'm just gonna work on, you know, rearranging those and make sure I have the ones that I like out there as well. Another tip is add new artwork. It's definitely gonna freshen up your space as well. This can be something you bought. This can be something from another bedroom. It can be something you DIY'd. I picked this up for 20 bucks. It just seems like a great deal. If gold isn't your taste, buy a $3 can of spray paint and spray it your color of choice and it'll definitely just liven up the room. Adding new sheets is a great way to like update your bedding if you don't have it in your budget to get a new comforter. I think comforters can be very affordable, but if it's, you're not in the market for it or you love the one you have, definitely just put on fresh new sheets and it will make the bedding feel new. The little packages these come in, I just wanted to share a tip, keep those. These are so great for garage sales when you're selling things or organizing things, definitely do not throw those away. But now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the sheets in the washer. I love for them to be nice and fresh and clean and I I love to put my softener on them, so that's what I'm gonna work on now. Adding a mirror can be a game changer when you're decorating a bedroom, just because it makes it feel really bright because it's reflecting off the windows and it also makes this space feel larger and we definitely need all the help we can get in this master bedroom. It's super cozy, but I had two that we had in other bedrooms. So I brought them both in here just to see which silver frame looked best. I like to bring those items just into the space so I can see exactly what they're gonna look like. And then Chase has all the tools he's gonna need to hang this. You're gonna see him here in a second looking for a stud. So in a perfect world, we'd like both screws into a stud so it's up there nice and secure, but I think we were only able to find one that we needed so at least try to find one stud but I know it's hard when you're trying to get it centered on a wall but we were able to do it just so we weren't worried um, about it falling or tearing but in every video I have to show you just a little clip of George and what he was doing I'm not sure where Tiger was at the moment but George was just living his best life as always So 
So when it comes to hanging things, if it's something very important, I let Chase do it because he will measure it off. He'll measure off where it's exactly centered. He me measures it down from the ceiling so it's level. I'm like a wing it type of girl. So I'm good at hanging like picture frames and stuff that only require one nail that I can like keep moving it. Cause I'm like, yeah, it looks good here. <laughs> so I have more holes when I'm hanging something where Chase just nails it the first time. So he did great. We're gonna go ahead and get this hung so you guys can see what it looks like. Now it's time to clean your room. Definitely make sure you clean up everything you've put out. I should have mentioned this in the beginning, but if you have zero dollar budget, clean and declutter your space. That alone will make your space feel brand new. Sell the pieces that you're not using. If you want a little bit of a budget, use pieces from in your house. You can definitely redo a room for zero dollars. I promise you. I was a broke little housewife and stay at home mama for years. And I was still rearranging and decorating like you guys see me on camera. Do not let money stop you. Just get super creative and you can make it possible. But even if you're spending, you know, a $5,000 budget, definitely be sure to clean those pieces just so they're nice and pretty. I think a clean room is always going to show better than any expensive room out there. Once I get finished cleaning the space, I am going to show you an after so you can see what it looks like. And then we'll be moving on to budget two. So if you have a little bit larger budget, you can check that out as well. So definitely stay tuned. If you're new here and you're enjoying today's video, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button. I love sharing cleaning videos, DIYs, rearranging, room makeovers, just anything with the home. I just love being at my home and I love improving it all the time on a budget. So I would love to have you join my channel. If you ever have any questions about my home or about something I'm doing, I definitely leave that down below in the comments section. I love answering all your comments. I do have an Amazon store link that I keep everything in it that I possibly can. I'll also link as much down below in my description box. So definitely don't forget to check out all those um, links if you're needing them. Okay, so here is how the $100 budget or less turned out. Mine was $67 to be exact, um, and I'm so happy. It definitely freshened up the space for just $67. Um, my bed is from Amazon. I'll have that link down below. I always get questions about that. That ottoman is from Ross. All my pillows always come from Ross. Now there is that one new um, new one from Target, but pretty much everything is very discounted. My tree right there is a faux tree and it was from Kirkland's. Um, so I just love to shop Ross, garage sales, that fireplace. I always get tons of questions about it. It is from Big Lots. So definitely just shop those discounted stores and you can definitely still pull a room together on a tight budget and make it look beautiful. I think this mirror turned out perfect for the space. I always have trouble filling up this wall because I don't like clutter, but I feel like the mirror made a big impact, but it's not super busy. And then a little more details about the fireplace. So we bought this about six years ago and the stones were gray. I painted it to match just kind of that cream color. And then it did have like a fake fireplace insert. We took that out and just kind of added um, a piece of wood back there and painted it to match. And then I just added real wood. But now we're gonna move on to the $250 budget or less. I think mine turned out to be like $237. So I went and bought new lamps because I feel like lamps will always add to the space. 
um, and I loved that these had the touch on and off. Since my budget was a little bit bigger this time, I went ahead and grabbed a new comforter because that's always going to make the biggest impact probably in a space just because it takes up so much space in your bedroom. So I went ahead and picked this one up from Target. I'll have it linked down below in my description box. I'm in love with it so much. I love the texture on it. So this time around, I have an assistant. Savannah, my daughter, wanted to help me out. If you're new, she's my 10-year-old daughter. She's our only child. Um, she goes through phases where sometimes she loves being on camera and then you won't see her for a few months But she was totally into decorating and she is like mommy when it comes to working on spaces So she wanted to help me out So if you guys know me, I thrive on a change. Some of you guys are going to be like, you just got that comforter. Why are you changing? But I actually got it for Christmas. So it's been like half a year. So I'm pretty impressed with myself. Um, I was ready to try something new because I've always had gray in here and I wanted to try the white to see if it made it look brighter. And then on top of it, the only reason I didn't like this comforter is I could never find the pillow shams. When I ordered it, I thought I would be able to find a set somewhere and I was never able to. So I just feel like the bed was never put together. I still absolutely love this comforter. I'm not getting rid of it. You may see it come back out like in the near future. Um, you just never know with me what I'm going to do. And then I wanted to show you an up close shots real fast of the sheets because they turned out so well. Those are them. Um, but now we're going to put the new comforter on. Sorry, this video is like going super fast. <laughs> I am so happy with this comforter. I'm happy with the white. I like that it's a little bit thicker. However, I do love my other comforter. I don't want you guys to think I'm getting rid of that because I didn't like it. I just thrive on change and I was so ready to try something new. Okay, so I don't think I've mentioned the comforter price yet. If I did, sorry, I already forgot. But this was $99. I'm super happy with it. It's king size. It's very like thick and plush. And it came with the matching pillow shams, which was my struggle in the last one. So I love just like the bed in a bag situation. I normally love buying them from like Ross, but Ross is just empty right now. And then um, Home Goods just didn't have anything in Kings. They were all queen size. So this was the first time I actually bought something from a Target, but I was super happy with it. A hundred bucks, I feel like it's still super affordable for a bedroom makeover because comforters can be so pricey. So definitely just make sure you're doing your research. And when I went with the white, I didn't want it to be too simple. So I made sure it had this like pattern and texture on it just to bring interest to the room. But now we're gonna start working with pillows. This took us forever. You're gonna see so many clips of me and Savannah trying to figure out the best setup with all this new white bedding. Next tip on a bigger budget is update your lamps. You can even do this on budget one if you don't need a lot of other pieces in your bedroom. But I feel like so many spaces go wrong with the lamps. I feel like you can decorate so well, but if your lamps or lampshades are outdated, it just can ruin the look. So if you don't have a big budget, spray paint the bases. You could just buy new lampshades for it, but definitely focus on those lamps because they can definitely make or break a space. These lights were actually 35, which is a little pricey. I feel like you can get a better deal at Ross. I wanna say my original ones there were a lot bigger for 20, but these have the touch where it turns on and off. And I just feel like at night in the dark and with Savannah, sometimes I'm like struggling to turn that light on if she needs me. Now all I have to do is touch the gold base and it pops on. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It was nice, a little feature that added. These also are a lot smaller, but I did that on purpose. Um, our bedroom's cozy. I mentioned 
mentioned that before. So we have small little side tables and these big round ones were beautiful, but we could barely put a drink on the nightstand and I was always scared it was gonna fall off. So now we have so much more room. They're easy to turn on and off and lamps are just a great way to add in that pop of color. So with my pop of color, we're going with gold and then it's easy to change out. So if I'm ever sick of the gold, I don't even have to replace these. I'll just get a can of spray paint and spray paint them and they're good to go. I can also do the same with this gold artwork right here. If I ever want it silver or black or something different, it'll just be super easy to spray paint and be done. Now I'm going to clean up our little mess over here and I've got to figure out the new pillow system as here as well. So now I'm going to work on this side of the room. To be exact, this is my $237 makeover reveal. I am so happy with how it turned out. The space feels new again. It feels fresh again. I love that there's a nice change to it because I didn't use all gray like I normally do. I added some pops of gold. I'm super happy with how this turned out. If you have a larger budget, the next things that would be possible are maybe a new bed, new flooring and new lighting. The lighting is the next one I wanna tackle very soon. But what I want you to see is you can work on those spaces even if you don't have your full budget. Get your small budget and do phase one and then you can do phase two and then you can do phase three. Don't hold back and not live in what I call your dream home now just because you don't have the budget. Start doing what you can to refresh it and as your budget grows, you can add in new pieces. You don't have to wait for all the money to come in and do it all in one day. I think one of the biggest importance I like to stress with you guys is you can live in your dream home now. It may not be your like literal dream home, but you can take the elements from your dream home and put them into your home now. Not saying you have to be there forever, but you might as well love your space. And if your budget grows one day, you can definitely move. It's only gonna help you sell your house faster and list it for higher, but there's no reason to be like waiting for something that you can have now. Figure out what that dream home has that that you're absolutely loving. Maybe it's new lighting. Maybe it's the color of it. Maybe it's certain flooring. Definitely just figure out the style or what it is and find a way to make it possible today. Thank you so much just for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something new. I hope I can always share something with you that you haven't thought of. It can just kind of change your perspective on something. I absolutely just love this channel and love sharing what I know with you guys. Um, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.